Hey, what is up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan and today we are going to continue to perform stoichiometric calculations, stoichiometry. All right, so if we break that down, uh, we're going to calculate the amount in moles of a reactant or product from the mass in grams or amount in moles of a different reactant or product using dimensional analysis. Uh, we are also going to calculate mass in grams of a reactant or product from the mass in grams or amount in moles of a different reactant or product also using dimensional analysis. It's about determining a mountain moles or mass of grams for anything in your chemical equation. All right, this bit of information is something you're probably already familiar with. You need to recognize that the molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of a substance. Uh, and we can then use the molar mass also as a conversion factor that will relate masses of a substance to moles of that substance and we'll use that conversion factor in dimensional analysis calculations. Stoichiometry. All right, so essentially all we're adding here is recognize the re recognizing the relationship that exists between moles and masses in grams. Remember, we can always find the relationship between one mole of a substance and the mass in grams from our periodic table of the elements. Okay, so as we come back to this reaction for the formation of water from its constituent elements, Again, recognize the coefficients tell us the number of moles for each of the substances in the reaction. But you can use your periodic table to help you determine what masses in grams you would need. So in this problem, all we're working with are the elements hydrogen and oxygen. So if I go to my periodic table, if I think about the mass is of one mole of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen and how they apply to this chemical equation, you should be able to recognize that one mole of hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, is equal to 2.016 grams. Likewise, you should recognize that one mole of oxygen is equal to 31.998 grams. And if I wanted the mass of one mole of water, I would simply need to add the masses of the individual elements that make up this compound. And for water, I would get 18.015 grams.